Hello, my dear students. I am very glad to see you. Welcome to English lesson. The topic of our lesson today is let's have fun around the world. Today we're going to read George's blog, revise active and passive voices, and learn phrases to express likes, dislikes, and indifferences. My dear students, look at the pictures. What can you see on the pictures? What free time activities can you see there? You are right. For example, on the first picture we can see people. They are skiing. On the second picture we can see a water park. On this picture we can see people. What are they doing? They are hiking. And what can you see here? Do you know the place? You are right. This is Medeo skating rink. Do you like skating? Very good. And now let's look at this picture. I'm sure you like going to cinemas. And the last picture we can see shopping mall. So, my dear students, what do you do in your free time. Now, my dear students, we are going to read George's blog. It is very popular among teenagers. I am going to read and your task is to follow my reading. And we have one question. What does George do in his free time? Please, after reading the text, be ready to answer this question. George's blog. Here in Canada, we have long, cold winters with lots of snow, but I don't really mind. In my free time, I'd rather go to the mall with my friends and hang out than stay at home. West Edmonton Mall is just a great place. There is so much to do there. The mall has a huge amusement park and I really like going to the indoor water park. Sometimes we go shopping or to the cinema. After school, my mates and I often play ice hockey at the local rink. Hockey is our national sport. It's fun. My dear students, are you ready to answer the question? Perfect! What does George do in his free time? And the answer is... You are right! He meets with his friends, as you can see on picture 1. He goes to amusement park and also water parks. And of course, he plays ice hockey. Very good! Now, my dear students, usually English learners use only two phrases to express their likes and their dislikes. But did you know that there are a lot of other expressions that you can use in your speech? Let's have a look. So, look at the board, please. There are some expressions. Let's read them together. Be into, big fan of, bored with, sick of, can't stand, crazy about, fond of, fed up with, interested in, keen on, tired of, and is not my thing. Boys and girls, our next task is to write the expressions in the correct column. Take your time. My dear students, are you ready to check? I'm sure yes. Let's check it together. So, what phrases we can use to express our likes? We can use be into, big fan of, crazy about, fond of, interested in or keen on. 
And if we want to say that we don't like it, we can use these expressions. Bored with, can't stand, tired of, sick of, is not my thing, and fed up with. My dear students, with these expressions you can use nouns and gerunds. For example, you can say, I'm fond of English, especially vocabulary and grammar. Or you can say, I'm tired of playing computer games, it's so boring. Or you can say, I'm interested in studying English because it is very interesting. So boys and girls, please try to remember these expressions and use them in your speech. Oh, my dear students, we have forgotten about phrases which we used to express indifference. Let's read the questions and the phrases. Do you mind if I open the window? And you can say, I don't mind. Does it bother you if I help? It doesn't bother me. Do you want to go here or there? It doesn't matter to me. Very good expression. Which movie should we watch? It makes no difference to me. Which book do you like more? It's all the same to me. What do you want for dinner? I don't care. And the last expression with the question, do you want this one or that one? I couldn't care less. Great expressions. Please use them in your speech. Let's continue. Now, my dear students, our task is to use the phrases like crazy about, fond of, can't stand, or don't mind, and rewrite the sentences. Please take your time. My dear students, are you ready to check? Let's do it together. Cold winters with a lot of snow is okay for George. And the correct answer is George doesn't mind cold winters with a lot of snow. Very good. Let's continue. George likes hockey very much. In this case, we can say, George is crazy about hockey. I really love going to the indoor water park. And the answer is, I'm fond of going to the indoor water park. And the last sentence, I hate staying at home alone. And the correct answer is, I can't stand staying at home alone. I think nobody likes staying at home alone. Now, my dear students, let's continue. My dear students, do you remember George's blog, which is very popular among teenagers? And one teenager whose name is Zhenia has posted her comment Let's read it together. While reading, you should answer one question. What is Kazakhstan famous for? Don't forget about the question. Let's read it together. Canada sounds great. I live in Kazakhstan, in Central Asia. My country is well known for its beautiful landscapes, from deserts and mountains to amazing steppes. 
my friends and I try to enjoy what our country offers and always find something fun to do together. We go canoeing, hiking, ice skating and skiing. Sometimes we walk in the parks. When the weather isn't that good, we visit each other's home and we listen to music or play video games. We also like hanging out at shopping malls. As you can see, there are a lot of things someone can do in Kazakhstan. I can't think of better place to live. Very well, students. Let's continue. Do you remember the question? So, my dear students, do you remember the question? What is Kazakhstan famous for? Look at the pictures, please. They will help you to give the correct answer. So, Kazakhstan is well known for its beautiful landscapes from deserts and mountains to amazing steppes. Very good, my dear students. My dear students, as I have said before, we are going to revise active voice and passive voice. Look at the table, please. And let's read examples together. My dear students, if it is possible, take your smartphones and take a picture of this table. It will be very helpful to do next exercise. Let's start. Zhenya posts a comment. The comment is posted by Zhenya. She is posting a comment now. The comment is being posted now. She posted a comment yesterday. The comment was posted by her yesterday. She was posting a comment at that moment. The comment was being posted by her at that moment. She has already posted a comment. The comment has been already posted by her. She had posted a comment. The comment had been posted by her. And the last sentence. She will post a comment. The comment will be posted by her. That is great. Let's continue. Now we're going to do an exercise. Our task is to rewrite the sentences in the passive form. Read the sentences, please. Now, my dear students, let's check. Zhenya will take photos. This is active voice. The photos will be taken by Zhenya. This is passive form. She posted her new photos yesterday. Her new photos were posted by her yesterday. Number three. Her friends play video games. Video games are played by her friends. Zhenya has seen a video about Kazakhstan. The video about Kazakhstan has been seen by Zhenya. Very good, my dear students. So, what have we done today? We have read George's blog. We have revised active and passive voices. And we have learned new phrases to express likes, dislikes and indifference. Very well. My dear students, the lesson is over. See you next time. Goodbye.